42-year-old Sitara would never have imagined this site two decades ago. In the Taliban's Afghanistan, her 11-year-old daughter Sara would never have made it to school. If Sarah had grown up in Afghanistan, she would never have a good life because there's no safety, no education, and even today, it's bad. Being a woman in Afghanistan comes with its own challenges. For Sitara, being a single mother was one of them. After her marriage failed, she decided to join her parents in Pakistan. Whatever little relief I had, it was taken away by the Taliban. Fights, terror, everyone knows the relationship between Afghanistan and the Taliban. Eventually, she decided to apply for refugee status. My friend told me about UNHCR's refugee program and said it would be easy for me to get approved, being a single mother with a child. After nearly two and a half years of interviews and background checks, Sitara made it to the U.S. in 2013. It was very hard for me to believe that I was finally going to the U.S. In New York, she was introduced to Women for Afghan Women. It's a nonprofit organization based in New York and Kabul, helping Afghan women resettle in the U.S. Founded in 2001, the organization helped more than 580 Afghan women last year. Nahid Samadi Bahram, the group's program director, says life in Afghanistan has improved for women after they are allowed to join politics and attend school. But we also should understand that this is a country which has been more than 30 years of war and it doesn't take um, just a few years to just build it back in the place where it was. Women for Afghan Women helped me with Social Security, food stamps, ID, and other matters. I used to get scared of traveling, but now I go on my own. And it doesn't stop there. Satara now has a job in a restaurant. She's learning to speak English and to drive. All things she never would have dreamed of back home. Uh, now I speak English. Uh, I go to key food, uh, buy grocery. Um, I go to my school, um, parent conference, um, talking uh, and the teacher, uh, my daughter. You will see Sara now in the classroom who came to United States just a couple of years ago with no knowledge of English and they put her on fourth grade when she did not know how to read and write at all in English. No matter where I go, if I'm not able to speak in English, my daughter steps in as my translator. I think English is important for people so they can learn and they can work a lot of sense and their kids can able to answer the questions and do their homework by themselves. Sitara and Sara have come a long way from their lives in Afghanistan and Pakistan. The refugee program has made them self-sufficient. And more importantly, they say, life is good. Roxana Saberi, Al Jazeera, New York.